Hello everyone and welcome back to another Apostles of Mochinjikwa podcast. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's managed to listen to all of the previous pod- podcasts. Thank you so much for engaging with us. Thank you for your comments and for your likes and for your feedback. It really means a lot to us when you're interacting and engaging with us. And we hope that the previous podcasts have been of some help to you. So for this week, the topic that we wish to discuss is the the name um, Joanne Masoe Echishanu. So when you hear the name Chishanu, like we said, Apostles of Mochinjikwa is a continuation of the works that were started by Baba Joanne. So when Baba Joanne first started his works and he was preaching to people and he was baptizing and the conversions of thousands and eventually millions of people through the works that was done by this person who was relatively unknown, the name that started to be called was that Masowe Echishanu. So when you hear the name Chishanu, this one to want to get people to understand what does it mean when we say Chishanu. Because Chishanu in, in Shona is the word that means five, so the fifth day of the week. But we actually know that, you know, Friday is the sixth day of the week because the week starts on Sunday. So in Masowe, what does it actually mean when we say Friday or Chishanu? So for us, Friday or Chishanu, it represents the five significant wounds that could be found on Jesus' body when he was crucified. I say significant because we do know that when Jesus, before he was crucified, he went through such a horrible time and he was tortured, he was whipped, you know, so much cruel things were done to him, all because of our salvation. But when you say the significant wounds, when I say significant wounds, I mean the piercings that went through his body. So these are the, when he was pierced in his arms, so two in his arms, and then he's got two in his feet as well. And then the final one that we count is the one that that pierced through the spear through his body. And so that's what we mean when we say Chishanu. So Chishanu or five, it means that we're remembering our Lord when he was crucified. We're remembering the suffering that he had to go through because he went through so much on that day, the cross that he had to carry, the burden of him carrying that cross because he was carrying on the burden of so many people and he was carrying the hopes of so many people so that through him we might be able to find salvation, so that through his suffering we might be able to find peace. And Christ went through so much for us so that we may be able to be redeemed because We had lost our way from God and we could no longer speak or communicate with God. But God found a way for him to use his son for us to be able to get back to him. So on the days of Friday, we are remembering our Lord and we are remembering our Christ of all the suffering that he went through and everything that he had to endure so that we might be able to have that salvation. So Friday to us means salvation. So Friday we're remembering the salvation that we were so lucky to get because Christ volunteered and he allowed himself to come and be humbled and he allowed himself to be a servant unto us so that we might be able to find the kingdom of God through him and through his actions and through his teachings. So that's what we remember on Friday and when we speak of Friday, you see that it starts on Thursday. So usually we start praying on Thursdays. And I'd just like to help people to understand on why we start on Thursdays. Because we know that Jesus, before he was actually arrested and he went off to being crucified, we knew he was praying in the mountains and he was praying unto God through before his trial and his tribulation came. He would go and said, Lord, please, if possible, can you have this cup? To be taken away from me. But it, if it's your will. Let your will be done. For my body. You guys, my spirit is strong. But the body is weak. So we remember that time. Because we are getting our spirits ready. Just as Jesus himself got his spirit ready. In order to get through that trial. And that tribulation. So that he might be able to overcome. So we start remembering the sufferings of our Lord. From then. And then we carry it on into Friday but so when you also come to Masowe you come in to realize that we also have some times where we might pray and we'll pray when it's on three days so that means we pray the Friday Saturday and we can pray into Sunday as well and why do we pray on Saturday why is Saturday of some significance to us 
So in Saturday we are waiting for the resurrection of our Lord because we know that he's going to rise yet again as what he had said and what he had been prophesying all along. So on Saturday is that day of waiting and it's that day of contemplation and we are remembering the works of Christ and the teachings that he gave us and he, he taught us to be strong in our faith. That if we have a strong faith, then we might be able to overcome. So we are looking back into ourselves and we are remembering his teachings and we're remembering our faith so that we might solidify ourselves in his works. So that if we're able to carry on his works, we will be strong and we will be firm. We will go forth with, with courage. We will go forth and we shall be brave so that we might be able to speak to nations, so that we might be able to speak to people and they will hear the Holy Spirit through us. So that's why we, are, why we also pray on Saturdays and then usually you find everything will be concluded on Sunday. So what is Sunday to us? What does Sunday mean? Sunday is the celebration or Sunday is a glorious day. For Sunday we are happy. And we are joyous because it's the resurrection of our Lord. He has overcome so much. He has overcome death. He has overcome suffering. He has overcome diseases. He has overcome everything that could be known as a shackle to humankind. That could be known as a burden to us. He has helped to unleash that from us. And he has helped us to reconnect with God once again he has helped us to review the kingdom of our lord so that we might be able to see the face of our father yet again so this is why we also pray on sunday and sunday we are happy for we are remembering the might of our majesty we are remembering the might of our lord and how he has overcome everything that was put in his way in order to be obstacles for us but he has cleared the way for us to go to heaven and he has made it a smooth journey. And so for that we are celebrating and we are happy. And I would just like to say finally that there is a verse which the Holy Spirit taught us. And it said that you should stay, stay you be Friday. And what did the Holy Spirit mean by this? It was trying to teach us that stay Friday. It means in everything that you do, you should remember Friday in your works and in how you speak, in your behavior, in your attitude. Everything should reflect that it is a Friday in your heart, which means it is a Sabbath in your heart. So which means on Friday, if it is a day that you, you should be holy and it is a day of, of, of prayer and remembering the suffering of our Lord, it means that we should continuously do that, even if it's a Monday or a Tuesday. There was a day that we're not gathering as apostles, but it is a day that we should also remember and remember the suffering of our Lord. If we are able to carry and channel the suffering of our Lord and we carry it into the rest of the week and the rest of the months and it multiplies and it accumulates, it grows and it grows and it grows, then we will be closer to getting closer to God. Because if we remember the suffering that Christ went through and if we carry that pain with us of everything that he had to carry for us, then even when we interact with our brothers and our sisters in the world, when we interact with our fathers and our mothers and our uncles, if we remember the pain of, of Jesus and if we remember what he died for, then we would be so much kinder then we would be people with so much love. Then we would be people who are so much more friendly to each other. And through that, we will be able to carry on the works of God even more. So with that, I say to you, let us stay be Friday. In everything that we do, let us remember the suffering of our Lord. Let us remember what he went through for our sake so that we might be able to have salvation. Because Jesus came and he went through much, so much through humiliation, through beatings, through suffering, so that we might be able to attain the kingdom of God. So in everything we do, let's never forget that. And with that, I say thank you so much for listening to this week's podcast. I hope that it has helped you in your understanding of my soul, in your understanding of God, and that it has helped you to get closer to him. 
And with that, I say glory be to God.